Well, hello again, all my fluid art friends. This is Doris at DF Designs. I am having, this is a 30 inch canvas and I'm having the hardest time in the world getting it all on camera. So I'm trying my hardest to do that. Um, anyway, um, I'm doing a negative space today. I've already mixed up my resin and added my colors to them. Um, this is going to be my base coat. Oops, my hand is covering it. Sorry about that. This is going to be my base coat. It's called Caribbean Lagoon. And believe it or not, it's a bare oil-based paint that I got pre uh, special mix for me. And I just added a little bit in there and mixed it in. And hopefully, with that being my bot you know with that being my base coat hopefully it will give me cells and here is one color this is breakfast at Tiffany's okay and then I am mixing up some carbon black these are both paste from uh, just resin um, um, products and if you go to the link below for the Artist Till Death, uh, their website, they sell a lot of these colors on there. The Just Resin, they sell, um, I know they sell Color Obsession. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like at a loss now for everything that they sell. They're a one-stop shop for resin. Let's put it that way, okay? They even have um, 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 half gallons of uh, um, some coat countertops, but I'm not using that today because I am using okay. Oh, this is the just resin bright gold powder. You want to slowly when you first because I put it on top of the resin, you want to slowly get the powder form incorporated into the resin, then you can mix really fast to get it all mixed in. But you want to get it incorporated. I probably got way too much gold here, but we will see, okay. This is a collaboration um, for the Acrylic Pouring Group and YouTube Support Group. The link will be down below. Um, there will also be a link down below of all the other people that are uh, collaborating and doing a negative pour today. Okay, there is my gold. Okay, I'm probably the only one out of the group that's doing it in resin. I don't know yet because we're all posting it on the same day. But if you're new to acrylic pouring or new to any fluid arts and, or new to YouTube and you, ha and you have a channel, you can c join that group. The link will be below. And hopefully um, we can help you out there. A uh, very, very good bunch of people. Okay, here we go. Here is my base coat. I don't know how dark it's going to stay because I didn't spray paint my, um, I didn't spray paint my uh, canvas like I should have. I did back it. It, it is a, it is a canvas. I got this one I think at Dick's Bl Dick Blix. It's a 10 by 30, 10 inches by 30 inches, not centimeters, sorry. Because I ha have a lot of people that are overseas that watch this. Okay. There we go. Okay, now first thing I want to do is I do want to spread it all out. So, let me get, I'm going to pick up my heat gun and I do not want resin on the handle so I always keep a little t-shirt rag handy and I put 91% uh, alcohol on it. Now the one thing I don't want to tell you see how my gun is pointing away um, I always turn it on for the first time of the day for five seconds which is about how long it takes me to tell you this it blows any dust that collected up in it it blows it out okay First thing I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to pop bubbles and heat it up a little bit so I can spread it out. And I don't know if you can see the bubbles popping, but I can. Okay. Now, I'm going to put that down. 
wipe off my hand in case I got any glove off of the plastic. Now basically I'm just going to spread it around. Not sure if I'm going to be able to keep the sides white or, oh, no I'm not because there it goes over the edge. I know you can't see it but it's going over the edge over here. So I just want to get the whole canvas coated with this color and the easiest way I have found to put your resin down is you know on a big area is just use your fingers that's where the alcohol rag comes in handy but I will give you one word of warning keep your alcohol rag away from your your heat source your heat gun or your torch because it will catch on fire very easy I've never done it but I've seen other people do it and I'm just giving you a safety tip here okay I have I, uh, the pro glass that I'm using is a one-to-one -one ratio of resin, which means you fix in one part, one, one part of A and one part of B, which is um, the resin and the hardener. But you put the hard, um, you put the hardener in your cup first because you wanna, um, you wanna make sure that. Um, yeah, I see air bubbles. I'm just trying to make sure I have no dry spots. And I see a little, that might be a little paint booger from the, from the bare paint that I mixed in. So I'll pick that out too. Um, and you want to mix it for three minutes. Um, I'm not sure, I guess every resin is about the same. And, you know, read, read the bottle, read the instruction. Take safety precautions. Wear gloves, of course. Wear a respirator until you know if you can handle it without a respirator. Um, and then um, make sure you got the rag near you for cleanup. Uh, I'm trying to get some of this down the side right here. Let me just pick this up from the bottom. See, now I'm pushing my canvas. Sorry about that. Now I'm pushing my canvas out of the way. I do have this canvas. It's got a center bar right here. But I do have this canvas um, uh, supported inside. I can't show you, but I just cut some pieces of cardboard and slid it inside the frame. Okay, now let me give it some more heat to give it to get rid of the air bubbles. Ah, need my tweezers. Um, I get these little tweezers at a hardware at a home improvement store. I love the little um, bent part so that way Oops there it won't come up Yeah, got it that time. There we go Okay Now I'm just gonna go over it real quick I've Already blown out my dust boogers. I'm just getting rid of any bubbles that I see so that way I don't have any um, uh, bubbles under the resin I'm going to put on it. And I just noticed one other little flake right here. So let me get rid of that guy. Now resin is self-leveling, so where it's a little bit thinner, the thicker part next to it will go down. Okay, I'm trying to do negative space. So I am going to do the black the breakfast at Tiffany's and the bright gold all in a in an arch okay I don't think I'm going to need any more black I'm trying to keep my negative space right here but I realize that it's gonna some of the resins gonna come over now here's my breakfast at Tiffany's on top of that okay now I'm not gonna put the gold on yet because I kind of want to leave it for the accents so let me heat this up a little bit get rid of air bubbles and See, 
if I can do some swiping. And when you do swiping, you always want to heat up the resin next to it, okay? So, ah, swipey papers. I have, yeah, I have some little ones, but that's good enough. I don't need really, really big ones for this. Okay. Now, this is just freezer paper. And you saw that I put the resin down. This is the base coat. This is supposed to make the other two colors sell when you put them over. So, you want to take your paper and you want to lay down about a pencil width of the edge into the paint. And then you want to very slowly, just swiping across the top, drag some of the color over like this. And there you go. Now, let me clean this off. Hmm. I'm dry, debating which way to go. So, I'm going to do some this way. Pencil with the paper. Slowly drag it. Don't have to drag it in a straight line, but you want to do it slow. And you want to make sure it's kind of like skimming the top of it, dragging some color with it. Hmm. So, let me see now. Pencil width in the paper, skimming it over. I'm dragging the color against the other color. And then I'm just going to bring it up this way. Because I'm trying to keep... This is my negative space. So... I'm not going to be able to do... I don't have a bigger corner over here as I did over here. So... I'm going to try just doing this down just a little bit. I don't want it to get all the way into my um, negative space. Oh, I'm liking those little wiggle lines that I put in there. I like those. Okay, let me do one more time. One pencil width, and then you very slowly Pull it and try and do a little one right there. Okay, that paper's got a pretty good coating on it. So, because you want to wipe it off and you don't want to cross contaminate the colors. Okay, um, I'm going to do, well, I'm going to do this one the same way I did this one over here. One pencil width. Slowly Okay, now um, let's see if I can get this up here Slowly drag it through And debating now what to do with this. I want to do. I do want to swipe it some, but I don't want to do a whole. Well, I might end up having to go into the negative space because that's about the only place I have for it to go. And sometimes in the middle of your drag, you can turn the paper and try not to get too much right there but it's self-leveling it'll go back in there okay now that's about all i'm going to do with the swiping oh shoot let me see what the heat gun does to it now because i want to get rid of my air bubbles i'm going to have to touch up those two edges i think i swiped away a little bit too much right there
Okay, and I want to try blowing it, blowing some of it out just a little bit. So. I don't want it to encroach on my negative space too much, but I want to get some of this blown out just a little bit. Okay, and let me see what I can do with that and this. Okay, now I'm going to give this little guy some gold accents. Praying, yep, it's still liquid. This pro glass, I'm so, so spoiled by um, other ones, okay. Uh, you want to start, whenever you do a little ribbon line, you want to start it off the edge of the canvas. See how long of a line I could get? It's not very thick, but... Okay. I don't want to get any of it in the negative space, but I do want to go around the edge of this. Oop. Okay. I do want to get some over here, so... You always want to start your little ribbon right off the edge of the of the canvas so that way you don't get that little up oh, see and I just made a mistake and went in the wrong direction and got that line right there but it'll stay it looks okay okay um I'm just basically tracing the outline of my little swipes just to give it some accents of gold. I don't want to overdo it with the gold. Because gold will take over. Although this is this is the uh, bright gold from um, just resin and it's not as quite as strong as okay look at that. I got a little bit of something right here and I don't want it right there so okay now let me give it some more heat see what I can do with this gold I am gonna try to even this out some I just want to break up the, the, the man-made looking line to, to give it some movement. Um, make sure you go below my video to look at the links. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to try picking it up a little bit while I'm talking, just so you can see it a little bit closer. Okay, um, I want to thank you all for watching. Click the links below my video. Go look at the other videos in this collaboration. Oops. Um, and, you know, if you haven't subscribed to them yet, please do. You know, let's share the love. If you like their channel, give them a thumbs up uh, I'm not happy about that either I don't know if I can Here, yeah there we go I just wanted to get rid of that little spot of gold that see there's another spot of gold but at least I got my negative space not happy about how it turned lighter in the middle so um look look for below um if you new to pouring or new to YouTube and you want to start a channel come over there for support okay and um, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in my next video 
So, bye for now.